Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening as the microtransaction presents a review. What are we reviewing today? We're reviewing Hades. All right. Um, for those who don't know what Hades is, it's a roguelike game made by Supergiant. Uh, it's the same guys who brought you Bastion as well as Transistor. Uh, and yeah, Chris and I are here to share our thoughts. Chris, how are you today? I'm doing phenomenal. You know, I just been, I, especially today, I was just telling you right before the show, you know, I had a great morning. I'm feeling myself. I'm looking at myself like, ooh, bitch. Yeah. I, I'm feeling like how Drake's song sounds, you know, like, ah. I this in you. Yes. but like in a good way. But I'm the girl in the city. You know what I'm saying? Not Drake. I'm not sad in the bar. Right, I'm right. I'm the right. one he's sad about. Yeah, exactly. I got you. Well, hell, let's, yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Yes. Just, oh, um, good times. It's good guess, times gaming. Yeah, it is good times. And good times gaming. Bro. I could not be more excited to get into this review. I have some strong opinions. Um, and man, I, this this game, it's done something to me. Like the game has bitten me, and I am hooked. Uh, mm -hmm. So Hades, let's let, 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 do you want you actually? How about do you want to start it off? You want to talk about? Oh, it? Let me start it off. Let yeah, me yeah, I'm off. sorry. Go, go let ahead, me give go you ahead. my initial ideas. Please, Since I've please. never played a roguelike game or any rogue anything type of game ever, so I kind of knew the gist of what I was getting myself into. I was wondering how it was gonna affect me. I even said in our last week's episode, I was like, "Is, is it gonna pull me? Is it gonna get its hooks in me?" I'm like, "What if it's just all like..." Uh, fugazi you know what i'm say right. saying like it's all like people are just buying into hype and um no hades was amazing from top to bottom just a rock star of an experience uh i didn't understand why people were like it's game of the year what do you mean what da, da, da. and i was like bro you're crazy playing it i'm like i get it because you get done with a one run and you're instantly thinking about your next one and it's just it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like it's broken in runs as feel like it's progression because you get to like level up now nah, i'm getting ahead of myself but just overall i loved it liquid what did you think uh, initial thoughts, and, and, and actually before I get into it, I just want to let the people know, this video is brought to you by The Microtransaction. Yes, like, comment, subscribe, the description, everything is below. So please, I just want to make sure I get that out the way before we go any further. Uh, it's much bro, appreciated. I love that. I love that. <laughs> microtransaction for hosting The Microtransaction. Yeah, bro, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd have to agree. I was wondering, I know people were talking last year. Was it last year or 2019? How, how old is Hades? Last year, right? Yeah, so it, last year. It, it was on the... Uh, it was up there for game of the year and yeah i've always wondered why i'm like it's a roguelike i always felt like roguelikes don't they just don't hit like other games you know that, that and and i've tried rogue legacy i've tried spelunky and usually i'll play them for like one or two days and then i just like fall away from it easily the first thing that really broke that that what do you call that what would you call it broke that that, that loop yeah yeah there you go that's a good word the, the ones who broke that loop is returnal returnal started it off and Hades, no exception. Just continue go. Now, roguelikes are officially on my radar. Like, I'm looking forward to see what roguelikes, especially any roguelikes that do something differently. And, um, yeah, like, uh, I, Returnal and Hades, two different games, but I love them both for what they do. They have, like, two, oh, different, wow. two different ways to go about themselves, and, oh, it's so good. Uh, I want to start off with the, the art style. So... Just, uh, the art style, it, it pops. You know what I'm saying? It looks hand-drawn. Um, oh, the colors pop. Amazing. Yeah, the whoever, you know, was the artist. Phenomenal work. Uh, the Everybody's dime pieces, except especially the men. Uh, you know, men, women, they're, they're all dime pieces. Cerberus, all dime pieces. Oh, uh, yeah. Cerberus, yeah. The, best, the best dog ever. Right. And, um... And yeah, so like er like I said, everything pops out. You know what I'm saying? Like the, it's it's an isometric uh, camera angle, and, you, and you'll see it. My game plays up here, uh, and it's so funny because like right before we got on, I was actually in the middle of a run. It's it's saved right now, but um, uh, yeah, like it, it, everything looks it pops. It looks good. Uh, the colors are just very vibrant, uh, and then the the just the characters, the like the way they're drawn, the way they're depicted, the way they talk, and like voiceover. It's just very. Uh, just they just stand out, you know. What I'm saying they feel really well. How, how did you feel about the, I guess, art side of it? Uh, I loved it. I love how like every like 
for those who don't know, you are you are not Hades. You are the son of Hades, and you're trying to get out of basically it's hell. Zagarius or something. Yeah, you're Zagarius. Yeah, Zag. Something they call Zag. him for short because he's you know he's one of the homies. Um, our, our uh, Achilles is your mentor and your trainer and stuff like that. So it's like you guys are homies now that you're older and like you know all that and you're like the house of Hades and you realize like. It's all very cool in this. You could tell that you they throw you into the middle of some stuff. Yes. But you're not too concerned about what's happening here, over there, so on and so forth. But as you're doing runs, story beats start happening and stuff like that. And you're like, what's going on here? What's going on with that? And there's been times where I'm in the middle of the run. And it's like, ah, oh, I need to do that when I get back home. And I'm like, I kind of kind of want to die right now so I can see what's going on with the story. And I was like, but I'm on a good run. Oh, man. It's just that, that give and take, that back and forth, uh, the characters and the, all the gods, the way they do them. Like, you could tell that, like, Poseidon's a surfer dude. And, like, uh, uh, like, uh, like Zeus is, like, uh, what's his like style? I don't know. It's just everything is very stylistically is right. what, I, what I'm trying to get at. Right. Like, and everything's really blushed out. And I like how like the the wine guy. I like how he like he's a god, but since he drink wine, he kind of like just doesn't care. Yeah, he cares, but he doesn't. He's kind of like aloof. Yeah, very laid back. It's just great. I loved it. I loved it so much. It was so much fun. Ah, yeah, the art design. Well, we just get into the art design. The art design is amazing, and the character models also amazing. Yeah. Uh... And I wanted to touch up more about what you were saying as far as uh, just like just their style, like the characters themselves, like even when you're in the middle of playing, like, you know, the power ups are based off of these gods. Right. So you figure, uh, you know, you have, like you said, Ares, you know, there's, you pick up, you know, his little icon in the middle of the map or whatever you're playing on. And when you pick up his icon, he made a he may appear and he'll talk about some stuff and, you know, he'll give you a certain you'll, you'll choose one, one power he's willing to provide you. And then, like, in another room or another chamber, uh, you'll see, like, uh, Athena, for example, her little logo. And then she'll comment on what you, on you, like, talking to Ares. Or, like, like I love how the characters, they comment based on your actions, what you did. Even when you die, the person that greets you right out of that, that little bloodbath where you respawn, yeah. he, he, he kind of tells you how you die. Like, oh, you got to remember not to fall in that pit next time or some shit like yeah. that, you know? So, yeah, it's stuff like that. So, that that's cool, man. I love when they do that because it's just, like, I was not expecting them to know what I'm doing. Kind of yeah. so that that kind of like sort of just raised that bar up a little bit more from like oh that's really good stuff right there. Um, um, what about the music? How do you feel about the music? Oh, the music slaps so hard, bro. You know, I feel like it's just it, it works so good and it gets the blood pumping, but it doesn't overtake the action. No, it just adds to it. Right. So when you're right. in the heat of the moment, you're like, man, I like this part of the song. It just feels like you're just messing things up, and you're like, ah, who, 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 who yeah yeah it's great right right oh my god it's so much fun it it is it really is and and it it sounds like almost like a greek uh uh, doom if you will it's Mm -hmm. like it's like heavy metal meets greek like mythology kind of like music because you hear a lot of like little fucking i don't know like this guitar like string guitars that are just like i don't know it just sounds it sounds like a lute almost uh true anyways whatever uh yeah it's the music slaps it's fantastic um I wanted to talk about uh, the progression progression system. Uh, the progression system's a little different compared to some other. I guess it's not really different, but uh, the whole thing is you find these gems. You can unlock these. Uh, you know, there's death defiance, which allows you to have one revive. You can double down on that uh, as long as you have more gems. So far, I'm up to two. I'm trying to work on that third one. I know to make my runs a You're little a thousand. Easier. Yeah, it's a thousand gems. It'll make my runs a, that much easier. Um, and then there's there's a few other things as well in there. I think that's the big one though. I think that's the one that I really look forward to. Um, but there's there's other ones like regarding like health and whatnot. But what did you think about the progression system? I loved it. Like it was going down to a thing, and I was like, you know what? Because I remember I went on a run, and it was like my best run out of all of them. Like I went from the first boss to the second boss to the third. And I'm like, and the thing is, I just didn't know what was happening, so I didn't have that intelligence. So I'm fighting, you know, I'm just fighting in the seat of my pants. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, and I like, it, I knew the the run was going to end. Mm-hmm. Like it's one of those things like I can't yeah. I don't I'm not good enough at this yet. Right, you realize you're not I'm that like, level yet. You're not that guy. 
I'm not that guy yet. Yeah, yeah, you know exactly. I mean? You'll get there. But I'm like, I need to go as far as I can for intel, and I'm just fighting for my life. And it's just such a cool thing that you, if you know what it reminded me of, and exactly. I know I'm, it's gonna be a big shocker, but it reminds me of like the hopelessness that you have at the end of Halo Reach when you're fighting, mm. but you're gonna die, but you don't want to go out like no punk, right? You know what I'm saying? So you're out there and you're fighting for your life, and you're like, bring it on, right, right, and then you just. It's just great. I love that feeling. The the game the game mechanics. God, the game mechanics. Oh yeah, everything works so good, and all the gods they all have different powers. You're trying to find god powers that'll mesh together well, the best to fit your play style. And there's more than one way to play the game. Like me and Liquid, we were playing with two different weapons, like right. primary, and like we didn't talk about that. That's just how our how we ended up playing. Mm-hmm. And that's what I loved about it. I was like, damn, dude, we're both, like, playing the crap out of it. And we're doing it two different ways. And, oh, I love that. I'm, I'm happy you brought up the gameplay because that's actually the next thing I wanted to get into. Um, you know, like, well, I just want to touch up, yeah, the progression system, very balanced. I liked it a lot. Um, and, and, yeah, it just, every time you die, you feel like you learn something new in some way, shape, or form. Whether that be, like you said, intel, like, or what to be expected, what kind of enemies are up ahead. Or even just, like, hell, well, now I can go and I can upgrade. You know, it's not, it's not... Not everything's a fail at this point, you know what I'm saying? So, like, so that's part that that's great. But yeah, as far as gameplay, like the way the smooth how how it runs, you know, the the melee combat, the, the, or I guess depending on what weapon you choose, because there's the you know, bow and arrow, you got your like Poseidon, uh, what do you call that? What is this? Trident. Trident. Uh, you got a sword. You got this like shield too. I haven't used that shield yet. I've seen it there. Yeah, I I use the shields, the gauntlet. Okay. And. And, uh, well, the, like, you have two fists, and the da, 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 and oh, you do really? it on the when you press Y. Oh, well, Y for the S. Did you have to fight? Oh, is that, that's with the shield, or is that? Oh, that's without the shield. They're different. That's a whole different weapon. How come I, I haven't seen that weapon? You have to find that weapon, or, like, what do you, is that what you find? I don't know. I don't know. It just showed up in the room. <laughs> I gotta go find that thing now. Wow, what yeah, the hell? Yeah, that yeah. sounds cool. Like, I'm no, gonna no, try no, it. cool, because you see him just, like, punching, and he's like, Yeah, because, like, I'm, I'm more like, okay, melee dude. focused. Like, I really, I'm, I'm really want to get in this shit. Like, I dash like a motherfucker. Like, I just got the ability oh. to get my, my third dash. So I'm just, like, Ooh. I'm just, like, flying everywhere. Dude, I don't just, have like, a third dash. Yeah, bro, I just got it last night. And it was, like, it's so funny, because, like, you, you get a dash and all of a sudden it's just like oh the whole game is just changed and it's just oh, like that dash mechanic yeah, I'm i think just, is the, i think it's the bed piece of the entire the entire gameplay i think it really makes it like it's so good like it like once you don't have it you, or i think you have the first one and then once they give you like that double dash you feel like you're a little more free now and then yeah. bro when you get a triple one it's all bets are off dude like so for i guess um uh, well, I'll ask you that. I'll save that for, towards the end here. Well, I guess we can talk about it now. So far, what's been your favorite like combo as far as like two different gods or like what? You, what what's been your favorite setup so far? Um, I'm gonna say I had the Hades dash, or yeah. not Hades. I had um um, what's the God of War? What's his name? Oh, Ares. Ares. Mm-hmm. Ares got a dash. But I had the the God of Wine. Okay. I had he had a. I had a trident. I had the trident, but it put out like three different knights. So like they would like be three like a four things in front of me that would oh. take up the entire like a big wide of damage. Yeah. And there would poison over time. So if I hit some, I'm dashing, stabbing, mm-hmm. and then if I move away, then they're just still dying on the other side. So I can focus. So I can just bounce back and forth, get a couple hits, right. not worry about killing them because it's happening over time. I could just worry about staying alive. And that was the god tier run I was on. Oh, I was yeah. like, I need to get this set up again. I was trying to grind and grind. I was like, damn it, I can't get it again. But, the, oh, yeah, by the way, the, the setups is randomized. You don't right. know what you're going to get when you enter it. So you got to, you know, be resourceful. Because God knows if I could, I would just have that set up the whole time and figure it out. Same. I just found what I felt was like my god set up last night. And that's what got me through. It's like... Um, I've, there's like four regions by my understanding i made it to the fourth region that's where i'm at right now um so yeah like my whole thing was like i had the god of one like the dash where you leave something behind like you'll leave like a, an area of uh, i guess it's called hangover behind it's like a little yeah. purple ring so yeah so yeah. i used to leave those behind so people are still damaged in that and then my little spears because you could throw these like little spears as well i forgot what they're called but um 
that was actually I had the Aries version, which throws like little cyclones or like just little on the floor, like other circles. So like I'll wow. dash and all enemies are following me. I'll throw those behind me. So now they're not only the hangover circles that are killing them. They're now in the Aries doom circles oh. that are killing them. Oh, and then, and then I'm just going in and just stabbing everything. And then I had, uh, I guess, Aphrodite, I think, who does it where you can uh, you can unlock something from her where if you melee, just regular melee, you get plus two health back every time you land a hit. Oh, so yeah. I would, so like even though it cut my health by sure it was like i was like 150 so it cut it down to 75 like once i got to like you know 60 i would just do a couple melee shots and then i'm instantly getting my health back up and that's what was helping me tremendously like i would leave Especially like when you have the thing where you go through chamber to chamber and you get like plus three right and you're like perfect yeah exactly like and, and like i would have like you know just like uh, just a little bit of health and i'll have to see one like minion left i'm like i'll leave one guy specifically like full health that i know is easy to kill so that way i can just mm-hmm. get that health back as much as i can so it's just so, like and you just find little things to like work the system I, it's awesome god i love shit like that. all right mm-hmm. so we talked about gameplay we talked about art we talked about the music we talked about er- pretty much everything i could think of at this point chris the final decision baby it's the yay or nay of the show so you're gonna please hit me what do you i'm i, I think i know but I'm not going to spoil it. You tell me. All right, I'm going to give it a nay. No, nah, just kidding. Come on. You, bro, honestly, like this out of every game that we reviewed, yes. I would say this in Halo Infinite, mm-hmm. probably the two best games I feel like we've ever played. Uh, I'd have to agree. Like, is, I'd even edge this, this one out. Here I, I'd only, I'd edge this one out only because Halo was a test flight. So I'd, 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 that's just me. I'd edge this one out. So far, this I has been... It to you. Yeah, this is my favorite game. But I'm sorry, carry on. I kind of cut you off. Or are we, are we, uh, wait, uh, so I guess under those rules, because technically Halo's not out yet, under those rules, I guess I'm going to have to give it, like, so, like, the gold, the golden yay. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Absolutely. So because, I yeah, um, this was the most fun game I was thinking about when I was not playing it. I would take, I would take, play other games to take a cooler to get back into the game just to get my mind right so I can work on the next run and stuff like that. And then, oh, that's awesome. It's so funny. So I'm going to give it also the golden yay, uh, the golden sticker of approval. Uh, I'm a little different than, than Chris. I, I, once I was like, I got off of a bad, like a big run. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know what? My next run's going to be for resources. Then it becomes a big run again. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, that's just the way I am. I played Returnal that way. It's just like, I tell myself, okay, I got to come back to it. But I'm instantly back into it just because it loads up so quick. Like, once you die, you're instantly starting off from the beginning. Yeah. And I'm like, well, why wouldn't I just play a little bit longer, you know? And it's just like, yeah. oh, it gets you. Oh, man, yeah, this has been my favorite game that we've reviewed so far. I'm going to have to get And I could see why it was getting those game of the year praise like this would have probably been my game of the year last year um i think the games came out last year again um it wasn't last of us last year uh, no i don't think so i think it was the year before maybe it was last year actually no i think it was because that was animal crossing doom i think came yeah animal crossing doom uh yeah i'm pretty final i think you're right i think final fantasy yeah remake uh i think last of us 2 did come out here i'm looking up real quick but i'm pretty sure yeah. it did but, so I'm uh, giving it. I'm totally giving it God of War because God of War just had me. I mean, not God of War. Uh, <laughs> Last of Us just had me go through a myriad of emotions. <laughs> I, like Last of Us, it's so funny because Last of Us in the beginning I wasn't hot on it. As I played it more, I really liked it a lot. Um, like my second and third playthrough of it. Um, it's so funny. I, I was gonna look up the release date right now, and I ended up looking up. <laughs> but um. So yeah, I'm gonna like. Oh, it was uh, yeah, last year, Last of Us Two. I'm, but dude, I would have to give it to Hades. Like, dude, the way, I'm sorry. Like, Last of Us Two, it was great and all. I just, but I still left feeling like Part One was better. That's just my opinion. You gotta understand. It just, I, I have my critiques, and maybe one day we could talk about that on the show. I, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I feel like they're valid critiques. But you know, and, and and I don't think if anybody called that their their game of the year or hell their favorite game of all time, I'm I wouldn't disagree with you. I'm like, oh, okay, that's I. I can under I can completely understand why, but Hades. We're talking about Hades today. We're talking about. Oh yeah, Hades today's today. Hades, boy. Today's but Hades, Hades day. Hades definitely deserves to be in the column of games talked about. Like, right. It's top six. Like yeah. you, you know, they have the six faces of the Hollywood stars. Yeah. You put Hades right there. Just yeah, like, Hades is up there. So, yeah, Golden Yay. But I think that's about all we have, right? Like, so you got a Golden Yay from Chris. You got a Golden A from me. A Golden A. Golden yay for me. Um, 
it's on Game Pass. Go play it. If you haven't played it already, uh-huh. do yourself a favor. Even if you don't like Roblox, give it a chance. Just try it out. See what it's doing. Stick with it for just a, you know a few hours. Maybe it was one, two hours. How you like it? I guarantee you, you'll probably be hooked. Like, try it out. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a roguelike guy, and now I'm hooked. I'm hooked. No, oh, you're a ro- yeah. Now you're that guy. Yeah, now. now I'm that guy. Like, as soon as we leave, as soon as we're done here, I'm gonna go back and pro- probably play some more Hades. Was Chris, I agree. No, Hades. Okay. <laughs> all right well but, yeah no but i just want to say before we call it oh my i have made a couple people download hades already. nice yeah nice yeah. like download it play it need it and trust me because i wanted to play boyfriend dungeon but this game had a hold on my heart that i could and the boyfriend dungeon just didn't fill right all right i hear you but um yeah that's been... door i'm coming oh <laughs> that's been the hades review thank you so much again like comment subscribe uh all of our, our twitch handle our tiktok everything's in the, in the descriptions below show us support please it's much appreciated we definitely love you um hopefully you enjoyed this review uh next week we got we got some surprise little review little uh little ex- uh, not a, well, i guess it is an exclusive it's a console exclusive um yeah and it's um it's 12 minutes, so we got 12 oh, minutes planned for next for week. Yeah, stay tuned next Wednesday uh, for for uh, 12 minutes, and we'll see how that is. That's uh, starring Daisy Ridley, James McAvoy, uh, phenomenal actors. They got to be phenomenal voice actors, I'd imagine, you would think, right? Yeah. Peter Dinklage, we're looking at you on Destiny. That wizard came from the moon. Uh, Peter Dinklage, Peter Dinklage. Anyways, well, Peter. thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. Uh, love each other. Take care. Wait, what do I say? Love each other? catchphrase damn you know what's funny is that i forgot it on the let's play last but i remembered it love each other i think it's take care man i'm gonna i'm gonna hit myself when when i when i find out later anyways be cool that's the most important one always be cool take care (laughs)